All right. Hello. And this is Grasping for Straws, brought to you by uh, Cedric and Jeffrey Productions. LTD copyright. Don't steal our <laughs> shit. Simple as that. Shit biscuits. <laughs> shit right. biscuits. We'll find you. We'll kick your ass. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, this person in chat, I know where they live. So you better watch out. <laughs> no, it's not a threat. We know where you live. It's, ju it's just a suggestion. I promise. I make threats, I make promises, just to let you know, so. <laughs> That's actually pretty good. I might have to use that. <laughs> Is that a threat? No, it's a promise. I don't make threats, I just make promises. <laughs> the, oh, but this episode is featuring Cedric and myself. We are a two-man team this week. Since everybody else... Dynamic duo. Us. The dynamic -ness, dynamic -est of duos. <laughs> Man, your webcam is like super uh, grainy today. Mine is? Yeah. I've, got, I've had bad internet these last few days, man. Really? Yeah. Is it because of storms? So it's... Yeah, because of the storms, and I don't know what's going on, man, honestly. It's just been shitty. I keep getting kicked off every time I try and play a game on, on, on Steam or anything. I'm ball guy. Just yeah. kicks me that off. That sucks, so. dude. I also yeah. know that, like, uh, Fall yeah. Guys, um, their thing is uh, probably overloaded with the amount of people that are trying to play it right now. Yeah. That's true, what too. What you a barrel roll? I don't want to. Hold on. I don't want to do a barrel roll. Stream up. Huh? Oh, you don't even have it up. <clears throat> no, I was Am amateur. trying to pull it up, but what amateur. All right, there it is. <laughs> One of you do a barrel roll. Amateur. Uh, uh, amateur. Uh, uh, amateur. I mean, that's basically what it looked like in the game, isn't it? Like from the cockpit point of view, that's just what they did. They just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of that game, I started playing this new game, dude, um, called Man of Medan, 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 whatever. Uh, have you ever played Until Dawn? No. Really? Oh, dude, if yeah. they have Until Dawn on Steam, we should play that together. Cause What's I'm playing that? Man of Medan um, with someone else. Um, it's basically a choose your fate kind of game where it gives you, uh, oh, hello. Hello, Defiler17. I was just speaking of you. But it's like a choose your own Defiler. fate. <laughs> it's a choose your own fate based system. So, like, you choose what the character does. And then, depending on what, hap like, what, what happens, that, that's how the story goes. It's really fun. I yeah, think you would have a great is. time playing it, dude. Oh, we st Possibly. you and I still need to finish Doki Doki, dude. Yeah, dude. I I actually was gonna try and find it and <clears> go <throat> through it, but I forgot the name of it. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> but we can finish it. Yeah, you want to play? Yeah, that? I don't know. You want to you want to fuck around with that after this? I don't know, man. Because I don't like it. It seems like it's like fucking weird. Like I, <laughs> it seems like it's really weird, man. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, it is. But it'll get there. Trust Wait, me. how long is the game? How long is it? Uh, after it pops off, maybe about an hour. Uh, and we're really what do you close mean after it pops off? off? Huh? What do you mean after it pops off? So when, when it starts getting really it interesting. Pop off? When it starts getting really interesting. So how long does it take to get interesting? I don't remember where we left off, dog. <laughs> we were in the, the club. Whatever the club she was It's, it's me, Alex. Like. It me, Alex. I do know who you are, Alex. It me, Alex. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot to post this to social media to see if people would actually come and watch us and talk. I always uh, forget to fucking true. do that. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm so bad at this. I'm so bad at social media. Uh, yeah, me too, man. I don't even post. <laughs> I, like, I don't know. I, that means I, you're I really that bad because I'm you don't even of... post at all. <laughs> yeah, dude. No, I don't. Like, I bet that people think I'm some kind of fucking loser, motherfucker. I, I kind of am a loser, but whatever. <laughs> you're not a loser. If you were a loser, I wouldn't have anything to do with you, loser. Thanks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> loser, loser. 
Now you made me. Now you made me have to type. Come watch us losers in this. Just because you said that. So, dude, I watched um, Cobra Kai last night. Oh, how is that? I I hear a lot of people talking it's, about that, dude. Dude, it's so good, man. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Yeah, it's really fucking awesome. Play the game. Yeah, this is a podcast. There's no game to play right now. Uh, <laughs> play the game. We ain't playing no game. Don't tell us what to do. Right? You, 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 Don't you, screw you, yourself, you, buddy. you non-streamer. You can't tell us what to do. Streamer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're not. Re- you're not my real dad. We're not your clowns, asshole. We're not here to perform for you. <laughs> Actually, I think I might have to. Uh, combat you on that one because we kind of are trying to be the clowns <laughs> what no <laughs> where's my makeup where's my makeup <laughs> I w- okay would you be the happy clown or would you be the sad clown obviously i'd be the sad clown <laughs> you can't have two sad clowns man you can't be the sad clown when i'm the sad clown but i feel like i'd be a better sad clown i mean look at this look at I'm, this face i'm actually a sad clown though and i'm not we can be like we can both be like neutral clowns with like straight neutral lines. clowns. <laughs> we're, both, we're clowns void of emotion. We we could call we could call ourselves neutral clown hotel, and we'd be neutral new band. And, 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 That'd be a cool. And, and, and what we would do is we would take that carnival use like dun 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 and make it metal. <laughs> that sounds like some insane clown posse shit though. Honestly, and? I'm, not, I'm not really down with it. <laughs> no, dude, we wouldn't I mean, talk I don't about hate magnets the and how do they work. That's Wait, just what? dumb. Do you not know that song? They made a song like called Fucking Magnets, How Do They Work? No. I need to show you this song eventually. Remind me to later. We uh, we can't put it on the podcast cuz we'll get yeah, copyright. Yeah. But <laughs> it's ridiculous, dude. I'll show you. Just remind me to show you after, after, after we're done. All right. Because <laughs> it is, it's bad. It's real bad, dude. You're I gay, see he's Taylor. pretty terrible. I remember. I remember they made a song that I really liked called um, "I Stab People." And like, I don't know, like, why I liked it when I was like in seventh grade, but I liked it a lot. Cause, then, uh, cause, cause you're, cause we were all angsty little children, my guy. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, I'd stab someone. Yeah, I'm like twelve. You know, if, you know I'd, I'd actually someone. believe a child would stab somebody, cause like, all yeah, almost all children so are too. sociopaths. Yeah, like I feel like yeah, you learn um, sympathy as you get older. Dude, like there is this funny ass video going around of like this little kid. Like I, okay, so like this little kid, he's like trying to attack these um hit like i guess like older cousins or older brothers or something with like some kind of pole and they like grab the pole and they like start, start beating his ass up like both of them they're not like beating him up like hurting him or anything they're just like holding him down and like like hitting him and shit and he's like trying it up they're not letting him get up it's just funny <laughs> that's that's the that's the video yeah <laughs> i think i remember liking uh, one of their songs back in the day too it was like something about being dead or some shit i remember like at the very like at least part of it they were like shoveling a bitch into a grave or something like that and uh yeah alex if you want to do that that'd be cool i thought you were just going to do that for like uh when we were streaming the video game that's up to you though my guy i'll leave that up to you Mm. but so we got sidetracked we digress we digress Degress, digress, digress, degrassi. Um, you were talking about uh, the fuck show. Were you talking about? <laughs> what show? The- um, Cobra Kai. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Cobra yeah. Kai. They beat up teenagers in that show too. <laughs> oh, of course they do. Every. Of course. Every Karate Kid, some grown man beats up a bunch of teenagers. Oh, did like, you see it, that it, new Karate Kid movie that they got on uh, Netflix with the Cobra Kai? Oh, wait, no. That's exactly what you're fucking talking about. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> it's a not a movie. Idiot. It's a TV series. I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's actually pretty good. 
And it's got like a lot of the original actors too. From yeah, the, no, it from looks really good. Movie. They got the original Karate Kid and the original Cobra yeah. Kai guy that got his face smashed in, right? Yeah, they have the original Cobra Kai dojo master too, like the, the original Cobra Kai sensei. He comes in the second season. They have two seasons already. Yeah. That was well, big. dude, like originally it was on um, YouTube TV, but oh. um, because my dad was trying to watch it, but like I was like, I'm not gonna pay for YouTube TV. I'll, Thank you. I'll fucking, I just won't watch You're it. Awesome. What is it? Oh, uh, my buddy uh, who I work with, he's in like a Discord with o- over a thousand people, and like they have a oh shit, they have like um a tab just for uh, streaming social media and stuff like that. So he decided to post in there. And so that might help out our viewer count. So that's cool. Cool. Oh, John's in. Uh, John's in here. He's bowling, but he's in here. What? A, what a fucking guy. What a, what? A, what a good guy. What a great guy. He's the best. Oh. I know that guy the most. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> good guy. But uh, have you watched any more of Lucifer after that noir episode? Um, actually. I felt I, I tried to watch it like three or four times. I kept falling asleep, but I actually just finished the noir episode tonight. Yeah. And I I finally got it. Okay, Maze was trying to find her mom. Okay. Yeah. I, I understand it now. Well, no, here's the thing. Here's the thing. Like that whole arc, spoilers, by the way. Uh let's oh, yeah. let, let, no, let, let, fifteen seconds. Just in case if anybody is watching and hasn't watched it. Got fifteen seconds. And we're gonna go into spoilers. All right, and but okay, so the whole episode was about finding Maze's mother, and I get that. That was Lilith. That was like who Lucifer was like doing all the mystery solving in in the 1950s or whatever. I get that. Right. I get that. I understand it. The story could have been told in 15 minutes. Yeah, you're instead right. they extended it to a whole 50 fucking minutes. Right. They made feel, an entire episode and it didn't have to be. Yeah, I feel like they, it was a complete waste of time. Like, they could have had, like, a main story with that being a side story. Because it was yeah really kind of boring and somewhat pointless. Yeah, it was. It was, a, like I said until before, the it was episode a after, episode. Until the episode after that, because it comes back. But still, it's... It was a 15-minute uh, yeah. thing that you could have... You could have you explained it in 15 minutes. It's a filler episode. That's why they only have eight episodes in this season, because they didn't know what the fuck to do. No, this is only the first half, dude. Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, there's another there's another uh eight coming out, I believe. Who knows? Uh, But no, after 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 the noir episode, it starts getting better. Okay. I'm I'm still bowling, I can barely hear. Yeah. Oh, tell Cody I said hi. Wait, are you with ne- Neil and Cody? I'll actually type that out. Neil and Cody, man. I haven't seen those guys in a long time. Yeah. Um. Oh, I saw uh, him post a video to Instagram earlier, and it was Cody bowling. He got a fucking strike, like... Uh-huh. Nothing. Like he looks like he's an nice. actually pretty damn good bowler. But bowling sounds nice. fucking fun. Oh yeah, uh ask yeah, Neil how's his sister. Oh. <laughs> oh man. That's a bit That's of a nice, dude. thing. <laughs> yeah. That's fucked. Oh well. It's already done. It's done. <laughs> <laughs> it is done. Dude, no. Yeah, I banged my friend's sister before. Doesn't end well. I actually what? tried to date her though, so I said I banged my friend's sister before. It doesn't it do it doesn't end well. I actually tried to date her, like I was like trying to date her. Yeah, so. that didn't go well, huh? Yeah, I was uh, like we we were doing good for a little while, and then like doing like a long distance thing. Yeah, I mean I figured it wasn't gonna be bad, but like yeah, I don't know. I just don't see that going well. Unless if like yeah, you and your friend are like well, super man. tight. Yeah, I mean like we honestly like we were real close when we were around each other, but we kind of like drifted apart. And then like her his sister came back into the picture, and I started talking to her more than I started talking to him. So I was like closer to her at the time. Right. So. Yeah. It happens. Live yeah. and learn. 
Yeah. Wait, isn't that Living Man thing like a Huggies commercial? Like, yeah, <laughs> and then you get loves. <laughs> <laughs> loves, that's it. Sorry. Loves Huggies. diapers. Loves, loves diapers. If you want to sponsor us, we'll do we'll do hey. some fucking ad reads for you. That's right. Speaking yeah. of uh, speaking of loves, uh, this actually is kind of relevant and actually a good segue. You know who's uh, pregnant? Who's that? Uh, again, Jackie. Oh, wait, who? Jackie. Yeah, I saw that on on uh, Snapchat. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. I looked at that. I'm like, wait, you're having a second child? Wait, and you already do? What? Damn. <laughs> like. That that's nuts to me. She's already having a second kid. When's the last time you actually talked to her? Dude, I don't know. Yeah, same. I don't know. Long, long time she's, ago. She's 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 living a better life now. Oh yeah, I hope so. But obviously not making some good decisions as far as uh, protection sexually goes. Well, dude, isn't she still with the same guy though? Yeah, yeah. But they, they, they weren't yeah, planning so it's on another not... kid. Oh. Yeah, so... Well, I mean, like... Yeah, no, you... she was like, it was just an ill-opportune thing, you know, bad timing and whatnot. I'm like, Dude, like, you know what you're doing when you bust a nut inside of somebody, though, you know? Like, it's... it's you're it's right. It's bound to happen. You know, you, it's bound to happen. You know the chances you're taking. You know you know what choices you're making. Exactly. Don't play the fool exactly. like you didn't know. Oh, exactly. But it feels so good. You know, right? You know what you're doing. I can't pull it out. It feels too good. <laughs> no, like, dude, no, feels like, no. Good. That, like, literally, I've heard that. I've heard that excuse. Like, I used to work at this, like, burrito place at Tampa, at Tampa um, International Airport. A what? And place? Um, Tampa, it, it was a burrito place. It was called oh, Kidoba. Okay. I, oh, I was like, so you wanted, the, 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 you worked at a burrito st- place, and we're yeah. talking about stuff. And there was this, like, gotcha. this kid was, like, 19. And he had like three kids already. And I was like, I was like, how do you have so many kids, man? And he's like, it feels too good. I don't, I just don't pull it out. And I'm like, I just like didn't know what to say. I was like, all right, man. The poor life like, fucking, choices. Yeah. Oh my seriously. God, dude. And he's working like, he's working at like this fucking minimum wage burrito place in the airport. So poor, poor life choices. Like, dude. I don't know. I don't know how people survive like that. You know? I don't know. I don't know either. Well, a lot of it has to do with welfare. Yeah. Welfare checks and stuff like that, which I get. Yeah, but I mean, if you have a job, you're not getting welfare. No, you can get, you can get uh, food stamps, depending on how much yeah, you, uh, your stamps. income is. I mean, I yeah. could apply for food stamps with how much I make at Howie's uh, per week. Why or at least, at least, At least what I'm getting hourly. Which, I don't know why I have never signed up for that, because that would be great not to pay for food. I was signed up for food stamps when I was living out there. When we were on, when yeah. we were at Dixie Condos. Yeah, I remember that. I remember. That. Oh, speaking yeah. of, I was actually going to tell you about that too. Uh, Dixie Condos—they repainted all of them. They're blue now, so now they look even more all like colonial homes. Yeah, all of them are like a ba- like a baby, like shitty baby blue, oh, like a really man. off I like light the, blue. I liked all the different colors. A pale honestly. blue. That's it. Ugh. And Section Eight housing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, no, I did like all oh, the different yeah. colors. We lived in Section 8 housing. 132 was Section 8 housing? No, Banyan Bitch was Section 8 housing. Banyan? Really? Yeah. I that had was no low-income idea. housing. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. That one on Mikasuki, huh? Yep. Huh. Banyan Bay. It's funny, because that or what one is was it as now? expensive as the Dixie Drive. No, dude, it was cheaper. It was like six hundred something. I really, I thought it was like eight hundred fifty, and then we knocked off no, hundred dollars like off our something. payment when we went to uh, Dixie. No, because I was paying like three hundred something dollars there. Oh, or wait, was it more expensive? I think it was. I can't I, remember. I think it was more expensive because that's it? when Cassie was living with us too. Yeah. Well, you were only paying like what? Well, wait, where's, was she paying you rent? Yeah, of course she was. Okay. She was paying me, and then I was paying you. So and then I was, was paying three, the rent. So if it was three hundred a piece, then yeah, it was only three. It was nine hundred a month. Yeah, it was like nine fifty there. Oh yeah, it was like nine fifty there, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah, yeah. And then at Dixie uh, Condo or yeah, whatever uh, one thirty two Dixie. 
I just gave it was address on over the internet. Whatever. It's, yeah, they're, but they're fucking we don't live there. Complex. They're fucking. Plus, you don't know complex. the apartment number. Whatever. Yeah. yeah, it's a nice place to live. Go, go to one three two. It actually was pretty fucking dope. I did yeah. like that place a lot. It was spacious. Yeah. It had two bat. It had three bathrooms actually. Yeah, two and a half. Mm-hmm. Two and a half. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, yeah no, it was actually pretty nice. The rooms were solid. Yeah. They're and fucking size. free internet. I did like the free internet. Me too. I love the free internet. I love the free internet. Yeah. And well, when we first moved there, it was free cable and internet. I think it was free cable for the whole time. We just never no, used the cable. Dude, we lost the cable. Oh, I used to watch yeah, the cable yeah. I remember because you were like, yeah, we just lost the cable. But at least yeah. we had free internet. Yeah, we had the free internet. I don't, th- I don't know if they still do it over there. I have no idea. But I, know, I just yeah, know that they repainted internet. them uh, pale blue. Honestly, uh, the, the thing that I appreciated the most was that I had my own bathroom. And I didn't have to share it with you. Yeah, yeah. Like, no offense, I, I'm sure that you keep your bathroom clean or whatever, but Fuck yeah, I'd I rather do. not share a bathroom. <laughs> Fuck yeah, I do. I mean, come on, bathroom is like one of the most dirtiest places that you can be in. Yeah. Because all the mold and mildew, yeah. you gotta clean that shit regularly, man. Oh yeah, you got to. Mm-hmm. Plus, you know, never know where your pee's splattering and like, I don't know. Oh, like, you can see it after it dries for a while. Like, yeah <laughs> you get those little yellow spots it's fucking gross man yeah it's not it's gnarly yeah. but yeah no like yeah. we uh me and my roommate now have to share a bathroom so oh it's why? A, it's, it's a, huh why because this house is like four one two three four four bedrooms one bathroom for some reason i don't know why they didn't oh play. that's the worst yeah because he like okay so he, we had it was a three bedroom one bath originally but he renovated the carport and turned it into another room. I don't know why he didn't put a bath, like think to put a bathroom on that side of the house. I would have done that because mm. that's like a really big uh, master bedroom over there, and I would have definitely put a goddamn bathroom, extra bathroom in there. Right? Yeah. Why wouldn't you put a bathroom in the master? I have no idea. And poor architectural design is all I gotta say. Yeah. I gotta talk to my landlord though, trying too, to make it as like, cheap as possible. He's gotta clean these air ducts, man. There's something yeah. in the air here. Have you changed the filter? Oh, yeah. I change the filter each month. Okay. Yeah. God, man. I hate shitty landlords. I hate shitty landlords. Oh, yeah. Here's the other thing. Me. He still hasn't fixed the AC. Like, I tell you, like, how the AC doesn't cool down the house enough, like, during the day. Right. Like, you, I, we, I could set it to 73, and it'll be on, like, 82 degrees. What? Sundays. Yeah, like it does. Like this uh. AC unit does not cool down the house at all. And uh. here's the thing: he had someone come out and take a look at it, right? But I talked to the guy, and I'm like, "Do you think we should just like?" I am like, "Hey, be 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 honest with me. I really think that we should probably just get a just fork it in and get a new unit for this place." And he's like, "Yeah." Yeah, that thing's pretty old. It's it's running its days, it's seen its days. Because this thing is huge. Like, it's one of those huge industrial air conditioners that are used to, like, uh, or were used to, like, cool down a business. Like, a big business in a strip what? mall. It's one of those huge ones that you see on the top of the roofs, right? But it's, like, 15 right. years old. Wow. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, you, just by, you can just, like, look at it and be like, oh, damn, that thing's... That thing's old, you know. Right. So it's about time for a new one. I think it was time for a new one about five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> yeah, that's like one of the re- main reasons why I'm like uh, hesitant about ho- owning my own house. You know, Ooh, because yeah, because you, yeah, you have, have to deal pay with the repairs for... and shit. Mm-hmm. Like my dad just bought a house, and um, like he's like finding like all these problems. Like he bought a house with a pool. And, like, apparently there was, like, mud in the pipes, like, in the pool area. And, like, now, like, he said there's a leak in the pool. And, yeah. Oh, like, no. So, like, there's a leak in the pool? Like, yeah. in the lining of the pool? In the pool lining? That, oh, that's that's expensive. Yeah. That's a lot of trouble to fix, too. Because you got to drain the pool uh, and re-fucking surface it and stuff like that. Uh, Eek. That's yeah, rough, so dude. It's going to be... Yeah, because I, I guess the people that owned it before, like, they, they only took care of it enough for it to be an Airbnb. Yeah. So, yeah. So, and you know how people treat those fucking Airbnbs. I mean, we were good Airbnb tenants. 
well but yeah we're but, not like I everybody mean, else like, <laughs> yeah for like, I, I i'd say like like two and four like 50 percent yeah yeah did i ever Airbnb fucking pay you for that right? i don't think i ever paid you for no. that did i you did not <laughs> what do i owe you <laughs> i don't even fucking remember <laughs> son of a bitch don't worry about it man the next I got time your bar we tab go next time, we, next time i come down what's that i got your bar tab for every night next time Dude, I come fuck out of here it's more expensive than a bar tab bastard not with how we drink no how about this the next time we go on like a trip or something because we're probably going to go on a trip again eventually or we'll go somewhere where we got to stay in like another place mm-hmm. then you just get you just get me in fuck yeah all right that works hell yeah all right i'm, I'm still gonna cover cool. one of your bar tabs when i come home because i feel bad don't feel bad I, I can my feel own. how I feel. Don't tell me how to feel. <laughs> wow, dude. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. <laughs> but um, whenever the bars finally open back up out here, like, sure. No, no, no bars are open near you? No. Really? Because well, there's, like, a bunch I've of seen. bars in Tally that are open up. Go well, figure. like, restaurants are open, but... No, there's bars like, here That's, that like, are where open. you drink out here. Oh, Pockets just got their oh, liquor license like, removed. Revoked. For real? Yeah. What they do? Were they breaking the? They were had, they breaking the social? They were. Uh, well, you're supposed to have like all bars at fifty percent capacity, right? They yeah. had over capacity by like a good amount, a good amount. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. So that's on them. And you know, for like think, thinking so about it, it, I, um, it was only a matter of time. Yeah, that place is shady. It, it oh my god, it really is. I do yeah. not enjoy that place a lot of the time. Dude, we used to have a lot of fun there. Oh yeah. Well, excuse me. Oh yeah, for sure. But like, I don't know. I'm just over. What about the other? The what about that other pool hall on Tennessee? Oh, it's not on Tennessee anymore. Zingales. Yeah, Zingales. Yeah, no, that one, that uh, that place moved over to Appalachia Parkway in a shopping mall center. Really poor location, if uh, you ask me. Why'd they move it all the way out there? Uh, I think because their um, lease was up on the one on Tennessee, and so they just uh. picked that location. I mean, I guess it's all right because you got no like hotels and everything out there. over there. What's that? I said there's going to be no good pool halls out there, eventually. Hi, Pockets is the only one, man. Yeah, but Pockets is shut down, and then Zingales, like, because I only knew, I, there was only, like, two pool halls out there. There was Pockets and then Zingales. Yeah. And, like, Zingales was, like, the, like, the upper, like, the upper. Yeah, yeah, Zingales one. was a nice one. And, yeah. And also, uh, uh, they don't, you can't smoke inside Zingales any longer. So, I thought you never could smoke inside Zingales. Wait, never mind. Yeah, you could. Yeah, yeah you could. Yeah, you could. Uh, OG, yeah. OG Zingales. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't smoking anymore anyway, so. Well, I'm trying mm, not. Well, enough. no, I ain't, I ain't smoking anymore right now anyway. <laughs> so. I, just, I just hit my my little vape. That's about it. Mm-hmm. Same here. My THC vape. <laughs> THC. Ooh. That's about it. Ooh. It's the way to be. <laughs> the way to be is THC. Da 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 da. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, dude. I, uh... <sighs> oh, but yeah, no. Speaking of like closures, there's a whole bunch of places that close actually. Well, yeah, dude. This this Corona shit killed a lot of businesses. Mm-hmm. You remember uh, Finnegan, Finnegan's, where I got no. called a fucking vampire, and I made probably the best joke I have ever made in my life. When we first came down here that first week, I was like, come here, let me make you sparkle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do remember that. Um, they're I thought that now. was at Pockets. No, that was at Finnegan's Wake and uh, Fifth Avenue Tap. Because hmm. they had that whole yeah, porch I don't remember thing. A lot of shit. They had the porch thing and they had also the live music and stuff that night that we were there. And we were talking to like this burly ass biker dude. But they're closed now. <laughs> they're cl- uh, Fire Betty's yeah. is closed. Um, yeah. Fox and Stag is closed. 
Oh, like businesses, fuck this day? Yeah, businesses that, that have been around for like a long time are closed. At least far, uh, uh, bar wise. Which, you know, it's kind of mm. surprising to me because I always thought the bars like in that area did pretty well for themselves. Right? You know? It was just surprising when I started hearing all these bars over there closing because Midtown is like where everybody goes. Everybody goes to Midtown now? Well, yeah, they had that like... That was like College Town that everybody went to. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, there's College Town, and I don't know, I just thought I always saw a bunch of people out at the places in Midtown. Yeah. We never really went out to Midtown. No, we never really did. I mean, we'd always... We'd I don't always think Midtown was really our scene. There. No. I mean, I, I went out there a couple times, mm-hmm. but... Yeah. It's just a, a yeah, mixture Midtown. of people that were there weren't really, like, our type of people. Yeah. They did have an arcade out there. Yeah, that was Fire Betty's. That's gone arcade. now. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's gone, too. Poor Paul's is still there, though. Yeah. Are they, are they open now? No, they're not They're not opening until all this shit is over. So I imagine, like, December is when they'll probably open up. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Christmas Cause, beer? Because the guy <laughs> who, ha- who, who owns Poor Paul's owns the building. So they can shut down and be fucking fine. Oh. You know, he's just got to pay property yeah. tax, and I'm sure he's got a bunch of like money saved up because poor Paul's super popping spot. Yeah, always has been. Yeah. Ooh, burpee. I had a nice. Tijuana flats earlier, or as we used to call Ooh. it, Tijuana fats. So good. Yeah. <laughs> I had a smoked turkey leg dinner. Ooh, that sounds really good, actually. Yeah. Was it homemade? It was pretty good. Was it homemade? No, I mean, like, no? you can no. go buy a smoked turkey leg. Well, from, yeah, like, no, I just, like, I just didn't know if you guys, like, smoked the meat yourself. No. I mean, like, my dad has a smoker, but we didn't smoke him. We just bought him and warmed him up in the oven. I'm trying to go to, like, Sarasota Renaissance Fair and um, get, a, like, a smoked mutton or a smoked turkey leg Ooh. or something like that. I would love yeah, if the fa- did did they can did they cancel the fair for you guys? Because they canceled the one for uh, um, Cali. I have no clue, man. I I don't I don't I don't go to fairs. <laughs> you don't go to fairs. I think, honestly, I think the last fair that I went to was in Tallahassee. Yeah, dude, I love the fairs. I love the rides. I love the pigs and the animals that are there. They're always fun to pet. <laughs> I got bit by a llama once at a fair. It was great. It was a good time. That doesn't sound like a good time, actually. <laughs> so no, llama the, the llama you? hurt. The llama definitely hurt, but it was worth it. Did you punch the llama? No, I caressed its sweet little fluffy head. I and then I went to that f- and then I, no, 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 no. And I, I caressed his head, and then I went to feed it, and he bit my fingers instead of his food. Oh, uh, okay. That that's acceptable. Man. Yeah. Oh, and I got and I got you. chased by a geese. Because geese are just the fucking goddamn devils yeah. of the sky. I hate geese so much. They're just extremely territorial. I hate them. Yeah. No, like when uh when we lived in Illinois in North Chicago, like there was a like lake in our complex, and like we would get chased by those geese all the time that would hang out at that lake. <laughs> like you just like go by the lake and the geese are like, "Fuck you, get out of here!" Like. <laughs> Yeah, they yeah, always they go like, geese, <laughs> right? They're like, oh, get over here. Those geese get are over assholes, here. man. Get over here, human. <laughs> Let me eat your soul. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, yeah. okay. So you do you, you know the the botanical gardens in uh Illinois, right? Like thirty minutes or forty five minutes out of Chicago, maybe longer. Yeah. Uh we used to go there all the time. Like, my aunt and uncle would always take me there. I really wish they would have done it later on in life, because I feel like I would really appreciate it now. I love that kind of shit now. I fucking simp for that all day, every day. But I remember going there one time, and then, like, throwing fucking bread to birds, even though you're not supposed to, now I know that, but... Right. (laughs) I go to, like, try to feed this geese. He bites my finger, and then he starts chasing me. That was my first encounter with a goose ever. Yeah, that was my first encounter with a goose ever. And now, and ever since that day, I wanted to wring their fucking little necks. 
going to kill a goose. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> it's the killing floor for geese. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, I think that's why John's at the, um, at the bowling alley, because it's a place that sells food and, and alcohol. So you oh, can yeah, drink for it. sure. For sure. I mean, yeah. I'd go bowling. It's a good excuse to go, go bowling. Drunk. Right? Sounds like a fun time. I love bowling. Where is there Shit. a bowling alley in Tallahassee? There's one on Tennessee. FSU? There's one on Tennessee, and then there's all one all the way off of Capitol Circle. We've been to both of them. Have we? Yeah. Do you remember that was that one day we went with Joe, and Joe wasn't able to get any fucking beer because the people there were like to- terrible servers. Like, he waited up at the beer stand for, like, an hour, and nobody came, and he's like, fuck this. Let's just bowl. He was so pissed. <laughs> he wanted to drink and bowl so that. bad, and he was just like, <laughs> I sucks. guess you don't remember that, huh? <laughs> I don't remember a lot of shit from back then, man. That's fine. That's fine. I was drunk a lot. I was too, but I remember Ugh. a lot. No, nah, man, I, I was incapacitated. Mm. You know, like, most of the times I, I would drink there, I would fucking probably, like, vomit or whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> my, favorite, Dude, like, would... my favorite vomit story from you ever, though, <laughs> is when we were leaving Pockets. Livingston's. Wait, Livingston's? Yeah. What are you talking about? We, a long time ago when we were drinking back home, we were leaving Livingston's and we were just talking and all of a sudden you just vomit and just keep walking. Dude, that was Pockets. Oh, was it Pockets? Yeah. Because oh. that girl was like, I was going to give him some. Remember that girl was like, I was going to give him some too. <laughs> It was just the smoothest, like, vomit I've ever seen. I really wish I had that on camera, because that would have, like, gone viral instantly. Yeah, but I don't want to go viral for that. (laughs) Hey. (laughs) Money is money! Smoothest vomit (laughs) ever. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty funny. Smooth vomit, smoothest vomit ever recorded. <laughs> That's what the title would have been. Because you were just like walking, like, Bleh. just kept going. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> Didn't even miss a step whatsoever. Yeah, no, I was actually trying to get away from everybody so that I could vomit in peace, but I just couldn't hold it in. So I just vomited and kept walking and walked yeah. away. <laughs> that shit was that shit was so funny. Yeah. Yeah. We uh we uh, we were supposed to tell the story of how I busted my goddamn noggin back in Bradenton. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. Oh. You you fucked yourself up. I did. I did. I don't even remember how I slipped either. I I Me just... neither. I was talking to somebody and then like I just looked over and you were on the ground. Mhm. Like <laughs> I think that's what happened like I <laughs> I don't know. There, let's see. There was Alyssa there. Adriana was there. That uh, desk, redhead. Um, what was that? What was that desk woman name? Who, who, she was uh, pale, curly hair. Woman. It was like an M. I think her name was Megan. Mm-hmm. Melissa. Mm, I don't remember her name. Oh no. I just remember well, hitting on like every there. single one of the bartenders there. Pretty much. Nah, dude, you were all about Adriana. Yeah, yeah. That's who you were all about, man. Yeah. You were about that girl. Uh huh. <laughs> I did like that girl yeah. a lot. Yeah, I know you did. And she wouldn't give you no play. And she had like. No, she kind of did. She have like another guy or something. She kind of did. But then she, once I dude, found she out flirted she had with you dude. for drinks. Huh? She, she flirted with you because you were buying drinks. Get out of here. <laughs> no, we talked we talk, we talk on the phone like. Uh, a bit. Oh, did she? Yeah, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, I got her number and I talked to her for like a month or two and then she got uh, that guy. Yeah. And so, I just kept it, you know, arm's length. Yeah. Plus, I, I was dating somebody too, anyway. Yeah, wait, yeah, you were with Cassie, weren't mm-hmm. you? Yeah. Yeah. You guys are doing the safe flirt. Yeah. If that's even a thing. I don't and then what was the red haired girl's name again? Ray Lynn? Ray, yeah. No, no. It was, no, a, it, it, was, was a, it was a weird name. It was like Lindsay or some shit like that. No, it was a weird name, wasn't it? Hold on. 
I can't remember her name because it was kind of like a weird name because I could never remember it. She was friends with me on Facebook for a while. All right, so I guess I'm not cutting my grandma's hair tomorrow. <laughs> oh no! What happened? Uh, yeah. My, well, because my okay, mom. Okay, so I saw it. your fucking door open, and I'm just like, wait a minute, wait a minute, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Because like I was looking at the sh uh, at the chat here, and then I saw your door open. I'm like, is he being haunted right now? But you were so calm, so I was just like, okay, okay, he's not being haunted. The door's not opening on its own. There's somebody there because you ca you can't see past okay. the darkness out there, dude. <laughs> oh. Nah, sometimes my dog comes in here too, so it like yeah. kind of freaks me out. Like, I won't be paying attention, then my door will open. I'm like, the hell? And then my dog starts coming in here. Just, he just wants to get rubbed. Yeah. Um, he just wants pets. Oh, no, I bring that up because last night, apparently, um, at Rachel's new place, uh, <laughs> we, we were playing video games, right? We were playing Apex together. And during us playing Apex, at some point, her door opens, but it was, it was shut. And her door opened, and then there was some like something that was going uh, something w going on in the house, and Ashley heard something too. And so Rachel gets on this Facetime with Ashley, and it's like, "Did you hear that?" Like I don't know what was going on, but she was freaking out. And just the other day, she heard like she's on the third floor, right? But just the other day, she heard people talking, mm -hmm. like outside her window on the third floor. So I don't know what's going on with that. But then just today, she uh, swears that she turned off all her lights, right? 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 And she comes home and her lights are on. In her room. Like, all her lights are on in her room. So, Dude, she I don't moved know. into the like, ghost like, that's, that, I, I was freaking out a little bit about the haunting thing. And then I saw your door open. I'm like... <laughs> Who's she living with now? Uh, her, 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 her friend Ashley. Ashley, no. Well, obviously, I don't know Ashley, so probably not. Definitely not. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I didn't know Rachel when I was up there. I didn't know her at all. It's true. Yeah. Wait, you do know an Ashley though, but the Ashley you know is from no, Brady the Ashley that I know lives in St. Pete. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, that was about to get yeah. really weird. Who I don't talk to it. anymore. <laughs> Wait, yeah, that would have been weird if I like went up there and Ashley was up there. It's like, son, you, like... it's like you walk in and it's like, oh, hi, Rachel. Fancy <laughs> meeting you here. <laughs> Wait, you Completely live ignore her? Like, shake her hand like I don't know her. <laughs> hi, I'm Cedric. <laughs> oh, yeah, just play it off like, like you two don't know each other at all. Right? <laughs> I wasn't inside of you multiple times. Like. <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. Yeah. I wasn't ready. Oh, God. <laughs> I wasn't in you on February 13th. <laughs> 2016. Yes, 2016. I remember the exact date. I swear, officer, I was not inside this woman that day. But now, February you, 14th, Clinton? that's a different story. It was a grand and great Valentine's Day. It was very giving. Oh, God. Oh, boy. I'm going to hell. Oh, I'm Damn going dude. to hell. I think we all are. Yeah, most likely. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if hell exists. Well, according to the show Lucifer, hell is just your own guilt. Yeah, and the door is always open, so you can just walk right out. I mean, you can, but most yeah. But how do you can. escape hell? You know, like what you if you overcome just the guilt? corridors of hell for eternity? You overcome your guilt. Yeah, but how do you escape hell? Because, I mean, like, remember, remember in the show when well, they're imagine, in hell? I imagine once you overcome your guilt and you open up your door, you go into heaven. 
so you don't walk the corridors of hell. Because when you or maybe like, you become when, a demon when, at that point. Because remember when they were showing um, what's her name? The blonde, the the psychiatrist, the blonde Linda. Woman. Yeah, when they were showing Linda's like ex, like her hu- husband going to hell. Remember that? Yeah, he was I remember like that guy, when yeah. he first got there. That guy he was, was a little bit crazy. The corridors. Though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well no, yeah, they, they, I mean, yeah, like, they showcase they showcase to... hell in the new season, like right off the bat. Remember, like they show Lucifer yeah, walking the corridors. Yeah. Yeah. No, well, I feel friends. like I feel like if you overcome your guilt, you go to heaven. Hmm. Like you walk through that doorway and then the pearly gates. Dude, there's this short, there's this short movie by, um, there's a, there's like a, um, he's, he's like a radio show host. His name's, um, Joe Von Maurice. They call him a cat named Mo. He mm-hmm. made this short that actually made it to Amazon video called the Purgators. It's like 10 minutes. And I mean, like the, the acting is kind of corny. Like it's like real low budget. You can tell, but mm-hmm. like the storyline is like actually like really deep and like the really good, basically it's this guy in purgatory and his uh, wife just, like, keeps killing herself. Like, she keeps shooting herself in the head. And that's what he sees over and over and over again. And it, and it shows him, like, um, accepting it and uh, just pretty much, like, getting over his guilt. So, oh. it's, like, it's actually Kind of cool. like uh, What Dreams May Come, a little bit. I never saw that. Really? That's, like, a staple Robin Williams movie, my guy. Was that the one where he was, like, in the painting or whatever? Huh? Uh, yeah. No. Nope. That was the one that has in Cuba Gooding Jr. in it. I didn't see that shit. No? Really? You would really yeah. like that movie. It's a very sad movie. It's a very uh-huh. sad and movie. I don't want to cry. I do. I love crying <laughs> watching movies now, man. I remember back in the day I was a cold hearted motherfucker and I didn't give a shit about anything. Now I cry all the time in movies. It's great. It feels good. Dude. I was watching, a, I, was, I was listening to Daniel Caesar at work on Friday and like I was tearing up and shit. That guy, that guy fucking gets me. Good. I don't know, man. Mm, that's good. He's like, no, like, dude. His, like, Daniel Caesar is like one of those guys, like, where, like, if you hear his music, you're just like immediately just like drawn in. But at the same time, it just like gives you like all these emotions. Like, it, he talks about just like love and loss and just life and just like in general, like, he nice. just like, he knows really how to put lyrics together. It's that's beautiful. good. I, lo- I love it when they like, so he's a poet, basically. Basically, mm-hmm. he's and he's like he's like sponsored by Fender. That's how I discovered him because I saw he's him on Fender. like the that's, Fender that's Instagram. Yeah, like I saw him on the Fender Instagram, and then like like I want to say like that that next Grammy he won like two or three Grammys or something like that. Damn. Yeah. If you like shit like that, I got Damn a song. To, I, I got a song to send you. It's one that uh, Joe right. sent me, and you know Joe's all about that sad, sad yeah. boy music. Although I love that shit too. No, no. I love. I mean, Sam. like Daniel Caesar's like more like soul. Like he's like soul R and B type shit. Mm-hmm. Okay, but okay. he has like really complicated guitar licks and bass and uh, like um, like really complicated bass lines and like just like his like whole a music ba- is, like a, like, like a jazz bass line more than anything. Uh, I wouldn't even call it jazz, man. I call it more blues. Like it's like blues soul kind of funky r&b like just like soft like jammy shit like it's send me some of this music good. dude when you get it like after yeah i'd love to hear that shit i'm all about shit like that i do love me i do love me uh music like that yeah, yeah. daniel caesar he's a man yeah this one I, I don't even know the name of the fucking artist that i'm gonna send you but then there's also lewis capaldi who i'm I have to learn three songs because last last time I was streaming with my acoustic, this person was a- asked me like to play three songs, and I'm just like, I don't know any of the, I don't know any of these ones. I don't know how to play any of them? I know this, I know I knew two of the songs, but I don't know how to play them, play and sing them at the same time. But this one he sent me was like by Louis Capaldi called "Someone in Love," and I really liked that song. Like that one was like, ooh, that one hit me good. That one hit me right in the feels. Do you have like dedicated like Do you have like dedicated followers for your music stuff? Not really uh, dedicated. Well, there's this one guy that comes in every, at like every stream, the Andy dude. Uh, what was it, Andy? Yeah. Andy Baron Pony YouTube. Uh, Pon. Yeah. 
I don't know, B Rope and YouTube. That guy comes in every now and then. Uh, I don't know. Lasers come in a couple times. Uh, but I have, I have like, oh, Astral's come in a couple times. Astral is the one who was, yeah, Astral like comes in like every time I stream music. So I guess they're hmm. kind of like, I guess like regulars, you know, stuff like that. But not really as so far right now. I mean, I've only started this channel and like most of the time it takes like a year or a couple to, uh, actually get a good following and people to come re- plus you need to make a schedule and i have no idea the only schedule that i have set is this podcast mm. that's the only like set like thing hello uh okay. albino hello we are, uh, we're pretty good how about yourself yeah how are you albino but yeah as far as like are you actually albino a h a albino oh no a h is that achievement hunter <laughs> by the by per, per chance could be say hi to brazil hello brazil yes that's a long Whoa. way away i wish i knew portuguese right no, i wish no. i just knew how to speak any other language that'd be cool yeah right language. fuck that dude I, no why would you want to learn latin because then i can exercise a demon if i ever need it <laughs> i guess that's <laughs> true <laughs> okay fucking what's that motherfucker's name <laughs> The priest from Poltergeist? No, not the priest. The, uh, the, 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 the DC demon hunter. Um, Constantine. I love that guy. Yeah, Constantine. <laughs> okay, Constantine. Yeah. Hey, man, I would have made a good Constantine, all right? Dude, I would love to be, a, like, a Constantine. I, dude, I would be, like, Shia LaBeouf in the Keanu Reeves Constantine. <laughs> oh, dude, dude I'd be killed, that taxi driver motherfucker. He gets murdered Wait, by what? Gabriel. Does he? Yeah, at the very end, remember? Oh, I don't remember Like, Gabriel, that. like, fucking slings him up and down. Boom, 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 boom. And then he's like, it's not like the stories, John. And John's like, no, it isn't. In his Keanu Reeves voice. <laughs> Dude. In one minute. All right. Question. Go. Do it. Let's get this question, Albino. I'm, I'm ready. All right, yeah, I'm ready. What's up? We have one minute to answer. Exactly one minute. Well, I'm going to answer quick. What up, shit. man? Name five countries in America. Um, America is a country. Um, I guess if you were to say the American continent, then yeah. there are three countries. There's Canada, there's North America, there's Mexico, and there's South America. So there's four countries. I'm sorry. So there's four countries in... Yeah, but aren't there div- like uh, divisions in South America that are countries? Oh, are there? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I thought that South America was a country. What's a country? Because like, it's, isn't no, isn't no, no, that's the a American? Continent. That's a continent, dude. No, America. Oh, wait, no, no. The Americas, like the American continent, is Canada, North America, Mexico, and South America, right? Yeah, I'm, yeah, those are continents. I thought those were countries. Because in the United States, there aren't, there aren't countries or states. Yeah, yeah. The United States is a country. Canada is a country. Mm-hmm. Mexico is a country. Yeah, but, so then, is but, South yeah, America but then in a South America, yeah, South America, no, no, in South America, you have like Argentina, Colombia, and like all those, like Peru and Chile. Okay, and stuff so like South, that. then South America is a. No. Yeah, those are continents. Hold on. Dude. Hold on. Canada, Canada is a part of the Northern American continent. Canada and Amer- and United States and Mexico are the nor- uh, are the North American continent. And then you have South America, which is the continent. Yes. Okay, yeah, you're right. South mm-hmm. America is a continent. Yeah. I-, I-, I did well in geography a bit. All right. I don't think I even took a geography class. I'm not going to lie to you. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Albino. American continent has more than 15 countries. I mean, United States is a country. Canada yeah. is a country. And then you have, like, uh, the, in South America, Ecuador, Chile, Peru, uh, uh, Colombia. And like, Argentina. And, and Brazil. And Brazil. <laughs> and those are, like, the only ones I know. Yeah, there's a few. <laughs> 
I did all right in geography. All right. <laughs> Albino calling geography. us out, and that's fine. Yeah, seriously, he's tra- he's, he's testing us, man. He or she? Got any more? He or she? Oh, oh yeah, don't he know. or she? We do not know. You got any more questions there, Albino? Yeah, ask away, ask man. Away. We uh, we love yeah. to fucking interact with anybody. He, he it is a he, and indeed, it is yes, a male. He. All right. <sighs> Dude, I love these chiladas. They're like fucking. They're basically a a like a beer Bloody Mary. Ooh, like they're okay. like really. Uh, I'll good. say I've only had one good Bloody Mary in my time upon this earth. Really? Yeah. Uh, it was one made by my ex. Was it one of those actually. ones with like a bunch of shit in it? Like a bunch of like like fucking like a like a mini burger and like a chicken wing or whatever. No. No, no, no. This one was made at home, actually. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, oh, well, because no, that my ex roommate he was a bartender, right? And he was he was actually oh, really, okay. he's actually a really well versed and a uh, very good bartender. And he so uh, yes, yeah, so you can do another question right now. His name is Arthur. Arthur, that's awesome. Nice to meet you. All Arthur. right, hey Arthur. Um, but he was very well versed in um, mixology, and so. What he did is he like made it, mixed it, and did a bunch of stuff and like that. And then I tasted it. I'm like, this is the best Bloody Mary I've ever had. And then so I went to New Orleans. I was in New Orleans with Rachel, right? And I was like, okay, they're known. They're known for their Bloody Marys, right? Like anybody who goes to New Orleans orders a Bloody Mary. And so I was like, I didn't know that. I I I was I always saw that in movies or huh. whatever, like TV shows, movies. They're like. Get a Bloody Mary and get a, get a crepe and uh, and a ben, uh, beignet from 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 New Orleans. Beignet. You know, you know, you know, <laughs> it's spelled so. Eh, I just spit everywhere. It's spelled so weird too. You know. Yeah, it is. But uh, he made this. Um, when I got the one in New Orleans, oh, it was so spicy. Like it gave uh. me heartburn like instantly. I would have loved that. I would have loved that spicy one. I don't, I don't know, dude. What's the capital of Brazil? I have no clue, dude. I have no clue, my man. <laughs> yeah. That yeah. that that one's Yeah. I that one's no lost clue. on me. I don't think I've ever needed to know what the capital of Sao Brazil Paulo? is. Sao Paulo? Is it Sao Paulo? I I'm don't disgusting. think so. Huh, hold on. I don't think it is. Capital <laughs> no, Brazilian. not at all. It's Bra- Brasilia. Wait, Brasilia? Yeah, Brasilia. That's what it is. Oh, okay, yeah, Brasilia. Yeah, I don't. Like, I would have never it known looks that. Like you guys have I feel like I feel like he's. I feel like this is murder party, but with chat. <laughs> you remember <laughs> you playing that game? Right. Uh, <laughs> exactly that game what has this some is. crazy murder questions, dude. <sighs> oh, man. But yeah, the only time I had a good Bloody Mary was one that my roommate, ex roommate, had made. No. Who I don't talk to. I've actually anymore. never made a Bloody Mary. I kind of want to try making one because I do really like them. Yeah, they're good if they're made correctly. Um, yeah. My favorite drink when I, when, I, when I do want something like fancy is probably either an old fashioned or. Crap, what's the one that Big Lebowski always makes? Right, Russian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one. I yeah. do like... I used to drink those a lot, man. Dude, but they would, so like, good. fuck my stomach up the next day. Well, yeah, because you're, like, lactose intolerant. Yeah. And they I use cream. definitely am lactose intolerant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, dude, like, I don't know. Like, I'll, eat, I'll still eat he's, ice cream This, is, shit, this like, isn't fair, because he's from Brazil, and he's asking questions about oh, Brazil. Dude. How many World I Cups? I don't be probably watching 12. soccer, man. I don't watch soccer. No, probably, like, no 12, clue. dude, because, like... They got a really good soccer team. Brazil? Yeah. Wait, who does Ronaldo play for? Doesn't he play for Spain? <laughs> you fucking got me, my guy. You got me. Yeah. That's no, cool. they probably only have like six. 
Like, if we're being, like, realistic, they probably only have, like, six. But I know that they have a really good soccer team. <laughs> Ronaldo played for Portugal. Oh, dude, they have five. Oh, they have five? I was close. Yeah. I was close. I was one off. Yeah, you were close. Yeah. <laughs> all his questions are Brazilian-based. Right? <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> yeah, dude, Ronaldo's badass. Like, he's, like, a fucking, like... Renaissance man, like who's pretty that, much. He's who's that motherfucker guy. that showed up to a wedding and he like he just looks too good, like he would outmatch the like the groom. Beckham? Yes. I yes. don't know. What's you his first exactly name? What something Beckham. About. Yeah, dude. Yeah, that guy's sexy, dude. Like I like like no homo, no homo. Well, dude, I didn't have to say if, that. If I had a dude, wife like, and she was like and, and, and Ronaldo was like, I'm taking your wife, and my wife was like yeah, I gotta go with him. I'd be like, I fucking understand. Right? Like, dude, like I would let my wife go with Ronaldo. <laughs> like, don't come back, bitch. Don't you come mean back. Beckham? But... Well, yeah, like, honestly, both, dude. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's fair enough. Because I mean, Ronaldo's gonna give like, her have a good life. life. Like, um, just right? remember exactly. to send like, me alimony. Right? <laughs> 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 I better get my alimony. <laughs> like, like, come on. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I would, I would, I would probably let my wife. Bitch, go with, better like, have dude, like, my honestly, money. like, I'd let my wife go with like an NBA player. Like, just like go ahead, like don't come back. But like, I mean, have, as long as they're happy. One. Yeah. Well, dude, like honestly, like think about it. Like she, she probably won't be happy because I mean, if he did it with her, then he'll probably do it with another one. Or maybe they were just like maybe they were meant to be like soulmates. Oh, well, that's all. That's all you can hope for. Yeah. 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 But I feel like uh, I feel like that's a good spot to end for today. All right, we can go over and play some Fall Guys, man. All right, I'm down. Yeah, I'll see if Alex wants to play. All right, if cool. he can. If Three he countries wants in Africa. You got this right. Um, Nigeria, Ethiopia, and um, Egypt. <laughs> Egypt, Egypt. Yeah. Oh yeah, Egypt is in Africa. Yeah. Egypt. There you go. <laughs> and we know some geo- we know more geography about Africa than we do our own continent. Yeah, true. <laughs> oh dude, I follow this Instagram for like a Uganda skate like like a Uganda like like I guess like skate community. Like they're skateboarding out there in Africa, man. Like they're like serious about it. Do you know that got- there's like a really, really big underground metal scene in India? I like, didn't know that at all. Crazy ass metal scene in India. It's we going to India? Fantastic. Yeah. Like they're mixing like uh Indian instruments and stuff like that with metal and it's Oh dude, did I see cool. I saw a video of some guy doing like metal and then like playing like a sari on an elephant or something. That's like that. fucking awesome. That is yeah, dude, I'm so about sick. that. I love I love metal scene cuz like they are some of the most accepting people that I've ever met. Like when 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 have Sometimes. we all ever gone to a metal show like local or otherwise where people were dicks? I can't think of, of a people. time when anybody was like a direct dick to me. But. Yeah, <laughs> like most of the time they're like, "Hey, what's up, bro?" and stuff. They didn't pass the blunt. Nah, dude, fucking having a good time, man. Nobody's ever passed me a blunt at a metal show. <laughs> really? <laughs> Except that for happened somebody to Rob, that, that happened to Robbie and me all the time, and I'm just like, I don't want this here. Somebody else. Yeah, take nobody it. passes me. Nobody passes me anything. <laughs> mm. Well, that's maybe I'm not. I'm, I'm just not that's cool enough. We are in quarantine. That's why we're doing the podcast. Via a la yep. home. Yep. The whole world is in quarantine, my man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's just that America is very bad at keeping at it. Or United yeah. Well, States. we got a lot more shit going on than just the coronavirus, man. So That's true. Yeah. That's true. But to be fair, at the beginning of this, they were still pretty bad at it, at least in Tallahassee. Yeah, you're right. The whole physical there distancing always, and everything like that was not. I mean, like, it, I'd say, like, there's, like, a bunch of, like, Alex Joneses out there that just, like, yeah. think that it's a hoax or whatever. Oh, my God. Like, there's so many. I've seen so much news, so many news articles about, like, pastors or anti-vaxxers or, like, some big, like, big wig person. Like, oh, we thought it was a hoax. Then my wife got it. Now she's gone. And it's right? like, how much is it going to take to make you understand exactly. and leave? Just put the goddamn mask on. Yeah. Seriously. It's like, how hard. hard is it to wear a mask when you're inside? Some son of a bitch did a whole fucking marathon with a mask on just to prove that it's not that hard to breathe with it. Wow. Yeah. A whole marathon? Mm-hmm. 
That's wild. Yeah, dude. He did like a 15K, I think it was, with the with the fucking uh, mask on. And he had no trouble breathing. So, Karen, yes, huh? quit your shit. <laughs> Dude, I, th- I just think it's hilarious how, like, some of these people are trying to go to, like, stores or whatever. Especially, like, when people try to go to BJ's. And, like, they're like, you can't come in here without a mask. And, like, they start flipping out. Yeah. Like, you're really going to fight somebody because you're the one breaking the rules? <coughs> like, yeah. Jeez, get over yourself. All right, anyways. Yeah, but uh, name the Brazilian president is what he says. Oh, uh, uh, I have no It's clue, like Bolo Sardinero or something like that. <laughs> that I actually yeah, know. I don't know. I knew that one. But on that note, knowing the Brazilian president, goodbye, everyone. We hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. And uh, put the mask on, please. Yes, keep your elders, your keep your kids, keep other people safe. The mask isn't for you, necessarily. It's for other people. Yeah, be you could be asymptomatic. Be excellent to each other. You never know what you're doing when you don't follow the rules. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> All right, peace. <laughs>